What up? It's Jimmy the Bag from Odds.com. This is a clip from our big Monday opening lines, early leans, college football show. If you want to see the entire show, hit the link at the bottom of the screen. It is exclusively on odds.com. We break down every single midweek game, and we hear best bets from John Ryan, Connor Mack, and Noli Knows. And we're coming off a big Saturday, which uh, helped immensely. Keep rolling. Get paid in full. And thank you for watching. Okay, let's move on to Thursday. Thank you guys so much for joining us here. Odds.com. Every Monday we break down every single midweek game, and then we hear the best bets on Saturday from our experts. We go to Tulane Green Wave at number 25, Tulsa Golden Hurricane. Oh, John, cashing on Tulsa was nice, man. Down 24-7 at the half. I was watching that game, and uh, it felt good. Mark, yeah, it felt good. It came the- back. We show no fear, John, <laughs> and we get paid in full. God damn, it felt good. Let's talk about this spot here. Tulsa, now ranked 25th in the country, opening up as four and a half point favorites at Bet365, quickly moves to six. There's six and a halfs on the board. Uh, Tulane Army played, and this was a spot where the chat, the market was on Army, and John said Tulane. And uh, I'm very interested to hear your breakdown of this spot. Let's talk a little more about it. Tulane, 5-4, and 2-4 and four in the American. Tulsa, 4-1, four 4-0 and four and oh in the American. Tulsa, Oklahoma, 70 Fahrenheit, sunny. 17 miles per hour will be the wind on Thursday night. Tulane coming off third straight win, 38-12 at home versus Army. Tulane averaging 36.7 points per game, 404.3 total yards per game. Michael Pratt, QB, 55.3% completion, 1,308 yards, 14 TDs, 4 interceptions. Tulane defensively is allowing an average of 27.6 points per game and 418 yards per game. They have covered five straight games. Tulsa coming off their fourth straight win, impressive come from behind 28-24 win at home over SMU. They were down 24-7 at the half. And the issue that I had in this game, and this will bite you and help you at times. And The thing for me, John, is Zach Smith, whose numbers aren't great. You can tell he's a leader and they love him on the sidelines. But And he had a great game, 26-38, 325 yards, three TDs, one interception. He took a shot to the head where I was certain that he was going to have to, you know, go in the tent and be done for the game. I was certain. And he lied face down, and he lied down face down for maybe five seconds. And then he got up, and he didn't go to the sidelines. And at that point, I was like, you could see his team rallying and where are the spotters? I couldn't believe that he wasn't going to get pulled from the game. And he put that team on his back, and then they ran. He's completed 61.5% of his passes, 1,249 yards, 10 TDs, 6 interceptions. It was a very good game for him last week. They have a very strong running back duo, Daenerys Prince, 336 yards, 2 TDs. TK Wilkerson, 291 yards, 4 TDs. Their strong suit is their defense. We saw that in action. On Saturday, they are holding their opponents to an average of 21.8 points per game, 370.2 total yards per game. You had such a great read on these two teams last week, John. What are you doing this week? Well, the fact that I had a good read on both of them makes this week really cloudy. Oh, shit, um, they're saying it got canceled? They're saying okay. Tulsa just got canceled. Oh, no. God, I was excited about this game. Is that facts? Yeah, that would, this would have been a better matchup than the SMU game. That's too bad. I don't have it anywhere. But others do? Is anyone else? Yes, it's canceled. I, I don't see it. Oh, God. Um, okay. I don't have it anywhere. But everyone's saying it's canceled. Let's just see if it's on the board right now. Luis Lopez saying it's canceled as well. Let's just see if I can – I mean, if we can bet it, then obviously it's good to go. I, I still show it on the board. At least the uh, two that I'm looking at. Yeah, I can bet it right now. I can bet it right now. So I hear what you guys are saying, but these books would have pulled it. Hippocrates says, I haven't heard anything. CT Bay says, believe it got canceled. Uh, let's just – until uh, I don't want to skip it when I can still bet it. So let's keep rolling. Take it away, John. Sorry to interrupt that. 
Well, I'll, I'll be brief with this. The play is, is to ride the, ride the horse that I think is Tulsa. Uh, you, know, you can't underestimate Tulane. They, you know, they took care of Army in a big way. Uh, Tulsa's played a, a more difficult schedule by a modest amount over Tulane. Tulsa has that pounding, uh, at least I think it's pounding ground attack. And to be the team that's, uh, you know, a proficient offense like the Tulane Green Wave, that, that's the exact recipe. Uh, dominate the time of possession, limit turnovers, run the ball, old fashioned football and uh, the kind that I really like. So uh, I like I like Tulsa in this in this matchup uh, quite a bit. And you can put me down for um, a, a bet on Tulsa. I'll probably go to the window later this week because of the not because you announced that it was possibly canceled. But I think it's just wise, a wise move to make your bets closer to game time, given, you know, the incredible rises we're seeing in the COVID cases. It's just not worth uh, the risk because we don't know what's going to happen with that. You went against the market in a bunch of spots this past week, John, with great success. And I followed a few of them. Uh, I followed that uh, Louisville, Virginia under. I didn't follow this Tulsa under, which was a great call, but I did cash on Tulsa. This total here. Is at 54 and a half. Noli, Tulsa's defense is for real. And they can turn it on like we saw last on Saturday night. What are your plans here, Tulane Tulsa? I mean, this this game's a little bit different than than the ones previous, but I think uh the weak the strength for Tulane is their running attack, but they go to the strength of Tulsa. You know, they they shut down the running attack. They're they're one of the top, I think they're top 30, 35, or 36 in rushing defense in the nation. Uh, they they've done that well, and and you've seen big time adjust, adjustments by their coaching staffs. You see against UCF and and uh, against SMU last week, only giving up field goals in the second half of the game, really shutting the teams down. The defense is the strength of this team. Hard to go against Tulane. What they've been doing, they've been rattling off. I think it's five in a row against the spread, six of the last seven against the spread, but. John Ryan mentioned it against weaker opponents. They haven't been able to keep up against teams like Houston, uh, SMU, and UCF. The de the de their defense has been pretty weak, and where Tulsa's offense has sputtered a bit. But here in this game, I don't expect that to happen, and I'm going to agree completely with, with John Ryan here and, and take Tulsa here. I really like Tulsa in this spot. Well, it's a six in my book right now, but it's going to be a six and a half in a matter of minutes here. So those of you trying to get under the touchdown with Tulsa probably need to attack now. C-Mac, Tulane, Tulsa. I'd lean Tulsa here in this game. Um, Tulane, I like them at home a lot better. They don't play well on the road. I think they run it okay. I just like Tulsa under the touchdown, as you guys alluded to. Um, and I think they have the better defense. Tulane's been playing well. They've gotten better as the year has gone on. I don't like them away from home. And I'll go with uh, Zach Smith and the defense of uh, Tulsa here and uh, lay the minus six and a half. But I'm going to wait. I know we probably got to get it before it goes to seven. But with COVID, I'm going to wait. It's not a game I'm super ready to run to the window here. So. And Noli, are you going to stay off the total? Yeah, I'll be off off the total right now. 